over to another issue about the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, circles and cooperatives have been advised to restructure their loans and allow flexible repayment terms to cushion both themselves and customers amid the COVID-19 pandemic. State Department for Cooperatives Principal Secretary Ali Noor Ismail says, circles have taken a big financial hit from the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. According to a study carried out by the department, COVID-19 has had a great impact on the loan repayment as many businesses are struggling for cash to stay afloat, thereby running the risk of defaulting. Furthermore, companies that were previously on track with loan repayments are now asking for moratoriums of up to a year or two to repay their loans. Piers Noor says the only way out for circles and cooperatives is to find a middle ground that will work in favor of both their entities and customers. Ramogi, how hard is it now to sort of know the length of moratorium that you can give an individual or a business as a result of the environment created by the COVID-19 pandemic. Is it such an irregular way to approach it or you can say four years, six years or so? Interesting that you should mention that because and I've looked at what other banks are doing and other financial uh, services uh, are doing, but they're, they're approaching it from a sector and an industry basis. Could that be a workable approach, therefore, when you're extending a moratorium to a, a, a borrower?
much. All right, I just want us to jump into the last issue this morning. The national carrier Kenya Airways will not adopt social distancing measures on its aircraft once flights resume. Now, Kenya Airways Chief Executive Officer and Managing Director Alan Kilavuka has said the decision is based on research that has shown that there is no evidence of the risk of spread of the COVID-19 virus in aircraft cabins once protective measures are put in place. Kilavuka further says implementing social distancing protocols will increase air ticket costs and prove uneconomical to airlines. He said the national carrier will instead focus on putting in place safety protocols that ensure that all passengers boarding are screened and met to put on masks while on board. Now, will this spark fire for Kilavuka, given that his competitors are adopting social distancing measures? And why should he be worried about the pricing of tickets if indeed the aviation management bill of 2020 will be adopted, which will see key areas like fuel and engine maintenance for the airline tax exempt, thereby allowing him to sell cheaper tickets? That's the question of the Amber Ramoge. <laughs> Interesting question of the Amber Amogi this morning. We will just leave it there. Who did their research? Because we have different facts about that as well. That has been the Amber Amogi for you this morning, telling you exactly what it is that you need to know as you start your new financial year, 1st July 2020. Hopefully, you're not among the Kenyans who are going to pay hefty penalties for failing to meet the yesterday deadline, 12 a.m. My name is Simba, Elijah Charles Kiyagi. We take a short break once we come back. Sector Trends.